who you hang with, who you fellowship with. As a matter of fact, if you were to take a look at the people closest to you, you can get a good idea of the kind of person you are. Now, some of y'all evaluating right now. The closest people to you, the ones whom you spend the most time with, are a direct reflection of who you are. I can see now I'm getting some disagreements. But it is the truth because birds of a feather flock together. You are a reflection of the people who you associate with. So if you associate with ignorant folk, if you associate with dishonest folk, if you, <laughs> if you associate with negative folk, I wish I had more amen. That is a reflection of who you are. I know you don't like some, some of you don't like this, but if you were to be honest, there's a certain clientele that you attract. Because you attract the kind of people that you are. So it makes a difference. If I want to better myself, then I need to improve my associations. If I want to be a better individual, if, for example, if, if I want to be rich, I can't hang around broke folk. Because being broke is a mentality. Being poor is a mentality. Sometimes it's not the result of circumstances. Sometimes it's the result of a mindset. Because sometimes people don't want to do any better. If you want to do better, you're going to have, oh my God. If you want to do better, you're going to have to improve the people that you hang with. If you want to be better in life, sometimes you've got to cut your time. Am I right about it? And so it goes in the church world. You who want to be strong spiritually, you can't hang around weak folk. If you want to be strong spiritually young folk, you can't hang around your friends that don't want to be saved. Because their attitude and their mentality are rub off on you. If you want to be strong in the Lord, the Bible talks about the joy of the Lord is your strength. And so in order for you to be strong, Brother Gerard, you're going to have to keep your joy. I'm talking about the joy of salvation. Sister Kenyatta, you're going to have to be happy that you're saved. But it's hard to be happy that you're saved when you're hanging around folk that when they come to church, they don't have a praise. They just sit there like a bump on the lawn. See, see, I got sometimes you got to move your seat. And say, uh-uh, I, I can't sit next to you because you don't like to clap your hands. I want to hang around somebody that's going to clap their hands. Somebody that's going to shout hallelujah. It makes a difference who you associate with. The Bible said that when Peter and John stood before the Sanhedrin court in this chapter, they asked them, why in the world are you preaching in the name of Jesus? And when Peter gave that answer, when Peter told him what he thought and, and, and what he had been doing, said, hey, that said I'm, I can't help but preach in the name of this Jesus Christ whom you rejected. When Peter told them that, they were astonished that they were so eloquent but they had not been to school. That they were so indoctrinated, but they had not been to seminary. They were amazed at how bold they were. 
and how uh, uh, strong in the teachings of Jesus Christ they were. And they took knowledge of them because what Peter had said sounded familiar. What Peter had said had, had, had rung a, a familiar tone in their memory. This man sounds like Jesus. And the reason why he sounded like Jesus is because he had ate with Jesus. He had slept with Jesus. He had walked with Jesus. And the spirit of Jesus Christ rubbed off on him. And that's what we need in Prayer Chapel Church. We need some folk that will spend some time with Jesus. We need some folk that, that don't mind being in the house of God saying, I want to spend some time in his presence. Because the more time I spend with Jesus, the more I act like him. Oh, God. Did you know you act like the people who you associate with? You act like... <laughs> You behave like the people you associate with. So if you if you want to uh, 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 act like Jesus, then you have to associate with Jesus. You got to you got to pray to Jesus. You got to sing to Jesus. Spend some time alone with Jesus. And when you do that, when you come out of prayer, when you come out of the service of the Lord, people will see a difference in you. I want the world to see that, that I've been with Jesus. I want the world to look at me and say there's something different about this young man. There's something just a little familiar about this young man. He's acting like the son of God. He's loving like the son of God. He's forgiving like the son of God. He's praising like the son of God. Oh, he must have spent some time with Jesus. Why don't you high five your neighbor and say neighbor, neighbor. it's time to spend time with Jesus Christ. Uh, let, let me wrap this up. Let me wrap this up. Uh, but, but in 2009 let, everybody say 2009 uh, the church is in need of some young folk uh, some, some fired up young people oh bless his name uh, help me say fired up young people uh, because uh, I'm finding out that, that uh, uh, I'm 46 years old and, and I'm slowing down yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. I, 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 taught a, I taught a new members class uh, on yesterday. And, and, and I spent about, um, uh, it was about maybe five hours uh, in the class teaching. And, and, and by the time I was done, I, I had to go lay down. Y'all ain't going to help me here. Y'all ain't saying that. I, I, I had to go. My wife had to drive me home. I, I was worn out. Chanel, I don't have the energy that I used to have. You know, when the Lord saved me, I, I could shout all day. And y'all ain't gonna help me. I could shout all day into the night. When God called me to preach, I was 14 years old. And, and, and I could preach Sunday morning. I could preach for an hour and then go Sunday night and preach for an hour and a half. And then I was ready to praise him after that because I had some energy. But now, I preach one sermon and I got to go lay down. I, just, I, I need some rest. Y'all ain't going to help me. I, I, it doesn't matter what kind of Wheaties I eat. It doesn't matter what kind of vitamins I take. I'm just getting older. And, 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 and y'all is too because y'all don't praise them like you used to. You, 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 you praise them for about two minutes. You, you give them a day of about two minutes. And then I see you, you huffing and puffing. My wife shouted, my wife shouted all over here on Wednesday. And then when she got home, she walking like this. She, she was bobbing like this. Talking about, child, I'm hurting all over. <laughs> That's because we're getting older. I didn't say we're getting old. I ain't ready to say I'm getting old. But I, we're getting what? Older. And we need some fired up young folks. I wish I had a church that was shot, fired up. Then we, 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 need, we need some, some fired up young people. Uh-huh. That, that when I go sit down, you stand up. 
Uh, uh, when, when I need some rest, you said, come on, pastor, uh, let's go again. <laughs> Lord. We need some we need some folk like Brother Gerard uh, that will say, Pastor, uh, can I go on a three-day fast? I, I, I remember Sister Lawanda. Sister Lawanda, I, I, I hope you remember this. Sister Lawanda used to, she used to, she used to come to me uh, a few years ago, just before she got married and had her two. Uh, beautiful daughters, uh, but she used to come to me and say, Pastor, uh, we want to, we the young people, we want to have a shut in. Oh, God. Uh, and I said, For real? Oh, Lord. Uh, in other words, some young people that was ready to pray, some, some young people that was ready to seek the Lord, uh, some young people that were fired up. Uh, and ready to do business for the king uh, um, because the devil done told some of you all uh, uh, that church is for old folk uh, and we adults we have not helped the matter uh, because we like to shut young people down uh, we, if, if they're not uh, acting like us if, if, if they're not doing like us uh, if they're not dressing like us then we want to shut them down uh, but it's time for our young people Spend some time with Jesus. It's time for our young people to say this is our church. Oh, young folk, it's not just the Cranford's church. It's not just the mother's church. It's not just the assistant pastor's church. But it's your church. Oh, Lord, it's time for you to spend some time with Jesus. It's time for you to build this house. Fill the house up with teenagers and young folk. Fill the house up with people that want to be saved. Don't be ashamed of what the Lord has done for you. Don't be ashamed of how the Lord saved your soul. But tell somebody, come on over here. Where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. For the men are found out, not getting older. And there are certain young people that I can't reach. I don't speak their language. Y'all ain't gonna help me. I'm caught up in the 70s and 80s and I can't shake it loose. But it's 2009. About Rihanna and Chris Brown. I don't know anything about Beyonce and Jay Z. I can't reach them, <laughs> but these young people can. Gerard can. Rihanna can. Tawana can. I don't know they gon' help them. You can reach them. You can let them know. Let Beyonce be Beyonce.